That was only the beginning. With your support in 2024, we are going to put America first like never before, and we are going to finish the job that we so successfully started. You know, many people, it was four years, but many people say it was one of the most successful presidencies ever. Some people say it was the most successful presidency. When I get back into the Oval Office, I will totally obliterate the deep state. They will be obliterated. And we know all the good ones now. You know, when I went there, I'd only been to Washington 17 times in my life, according to the fake news, and 17 times, and never stayed there. So I wasn't a Washington uh, establishment person. But I didn't know the people. I had to rely on people to give me names. And largely, we got great names. You know, we got the tax cut. We did so much. We rebuilt our military. But there are people that I wouldn't have put there, and I will fire all of these corrupt bureaucrats, because now, better than maybe anybody else, I know the great ones, I know the smart ones, I know the dumb ones, I know the weak ones, I know the stupid ones, but I know the ones because I know everybody in Washington. I, I, got a, I got a PhD in learning about the people of Washington, and those people that I introduced a little while are at the top of the list, too, I will tell you that. And we will create a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and all of the corruption that's gone on in our country. And before I even arrive at the Oval Office, just all I need is the victory. I don't have to be there yet, but the victory. Shortly after we win the presidency, I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine totally settled. We'll get that settled very quickly. As I said two days ago, Biden gave up a lot of secrets about our, the condition of our country and our military with the ammunition, which is very, very classified, and the cluster bombs going to Ukraine. And just the other day, he announced he's sending thousands and thousands of troops, despite the fact that the U.S. military has been so badly depleted already. We're sending thousands of troops. And the problem is we're in there for almost $200 billion, and Europe is in there for $20 billion. Now, Europe is the same size as us, approximately, if you add all the countries. They're approximately the same size as us, as the United States. And why aren't they paying the same amount or more? But they're not. Not a single American mother or father should have to worry that their child will be sent to die in Eastern Europe. And I'll make a deal that's fair for Ukraine and fair for Russia. I mean, we've got we to gotta make a deal. When I was on this crazy show on CNN, I don't know if anybody got to watch it, the uh, town hall, town hall.